guys we got this fishing rod here reel and fishing combo its brand is sports a field a field uh it's a six six uh six foot six inch uh fishing spiel uh reel combo from a field i don't know much about their brand i know they make safes i, I think this is the first time i've ever seen a fishing rod from them i don't know if they make anything like that but uh that'd make a little review of it just because they've never seen one it's a medium medium light action uh two section so i split into two it's a graphite rod which graphite's pretty good i don't know if they're uh I don't know if their reel is any good. That's right here. Here's their reel. And it also comes with some other stuff, some bobbers, some a one lure, uh, some jig heads, and some split shot rigs. And it comes with a stringer. Here's some of the stuff it says on the back of it. Here's the accessories. You can see all of them right here. Two drop, sh two drop shot sinkers, two s uh, four split shot sinkers, two barrel slides, and then they got they got those. They got all this, and then here's some of the other stuff. Here's just some basic stuff they have right here. The new sport of field spinning combo includes everything you need to get out on the water. Get out on the water and start fishing today. The Sport A Field team has perfectly balanced this high grade spinning reel and lightweight sensitive rod so that they work together flawlessly right out of the box. I don't know if that's true. You can test this. This combo is preloaded with line and comes with custom sections of custom selections of the right lures and accessories for fishing your for the fish you are targeting which i'm assuming there's probably do like uh what am i trying to think of uh you could fish um trout with this is this is probably a good trout rod you could probably do like you know some blue gills stuff like that maybe some other things and here's some of the other things they got shows on the back, which is they got just showing how to do some basic rigging stuff. Here's some other stuff. So you can see the accessories again. You can pause this and look at it. And here is what the inside looks like. Not sure if it's any good. Let me uh, open this up. Okay, now that I got it open, so we can get it out. Let's see what it looks like. I don't like the way they put this in here. Or the way they hook the rod and reel up. Just because I don't want the eye. Hopefully the eyes aren't damaged at all. But the way they, they zip tied it together with this on the rod. I don't know if they'll scratch the rod at all. If you see here. The way that they hook this up right here. Is kind of close to rubbing on the rod. Hopefully that didn't damage it at all. It's kind of tight in here. Let's see. They zip tied like this so you can see they zip tied the the little tackle box onto here and then they zip tied the rod and reel uh, the, the rod right here and here which hopefully that didn't damage it at all i know it's not the best right now the rod looks to be in good condition i don't know about the reel the reel is also zip tied right here so hopefully that's not damaged at all uh, let me get some clippers to clip this open real quick. Okay. Let me just clip these free. Without damaging it at all, hopefully. Get all this. Okay. All oh, these bends easily. So I don't see get 
this thing to focus. I don't really see any marks too bad. Let me get a little closer look though. Uh, yeah, I don't really see. Yeah, I don't see any marks on here at all. That's good. Notice they put plastic around the reel and uh, the line, which may be annoying to get to. I'm not sure. I'll have to see if that's going to be easy to get off. They also put plastic completely around this little tiny plastic uh, tackle box, this cheap one. And let's see if the other part section of the rod isn't damaged or anything. No, it looks looks to be fine. Let me check if it's straight. It looks to be straight. Yeah, it looks fine. Here's what the rod. The rod doesn't look too bad. I mean, I think I paid only sixty dollars for it after tax, so that's it's pretty good price for it if it is any good. I mean, it's graphite. Here it is. It says right here, Sports of Field, of Field, uh, which is the brand, obviously. And then we got the action listed right here. Here you go. So you can see that. If it'll focus on the words. There we go. 6.6. .6. And then you got the line, 2 to 6 pounds line, 2 to 6 pounds test, whatever they want to call it. Uh, 16 and a half ounce to five sixteenth ounce lure not the biggest lure but i mean you're going for smaller fish with this which wouldn't be too bad and then we got the the action so it can come reverse forwards and out it says on or off so you can let it i don't know why it says on or off but it should allow it to go both directions you see right there the quality doesn't seem too bad for it i mean ooh, that did not sound good it's pretty smooth action spinning um let me get the box real quick so it says it is let me get this up where the light's not blinding on there it says size 1000 graphite spinning reel is what that says on there for the sports field and then let me get this open so i can show you all the lures that come with this i'll put the rod together and show that all together okay well i got this off zip tied from here they have the packing list from here premium fishing tackle set yeah that yeah this is real premium i don't know about that made in china though so you know you got it premium i guess later premium made in china that's pretty funny maybe that's the that's that i guess because i got one jig hook right there i can see let me open this up now. I got the plastic off it. Would you look at that? There's a ruler on here too. I mean, I don't know how accurate it is, but there is a ruler. It's kind of hard to tell with here. Goes all the way up to, is that inches? Let me find, no, here are inches. It goes all the way up to 10 inches. This is how much this ruler goes to. Let's open this up and see what we got in here. Okay, it's kind of hard to open up with one hand. Let's see if this is any good. Seems kind of cheap. I don't like that. But I mean, you do got it, so. The hooks don't feel the sharpest either. Yeah. Okay, I guess you got cheap stuff. Yeah, these. You got the swivel hooks, spin swivel hooks. And then we got a couple, what they said were the bait hooks. You're just a little. Maybe two and a half inch hooks. I mean, it's obviously not the best stuff, but you get it with it. And then you get three of, I forget what these are called. Do they say the name of this one here? Uh, Sentry tail guide, no. Bait hooks, no. Let me see. Burial swivel. Burial swivel, no. Jig heads, pen tail, two little cheap bobbers. I mean, hey, these little red-white bobbers do work pretty well. We got those. 
And then you got your ones you could do for drop shot, or you got the split shot. And then you do your uh, sinker slider rig set up. And then you got your two, if I can get one of these out of here. You got your two jig head. These just seem like a basic jig head. Uh, basic jig head hook. Not the best color, I mean they come in a variety, but hey. $50, I mean I'm hopefully just the rod and the reel is better. I gotta get the plastic off of here. We'll see though. Weird, I've noticed that uh, on the rod end, usually the hole, usually the hole in the rod end, but it's not, it's on the, or the reel end I guess you would say, but it's not, it's on the other, other side. See, I'll put this in so you can see here. Here it is right here. Runs all the way up. Do this one hand. I got it on all the way. Let's see how well it works. I would say now that it's all the way up, it's still not the best balance on it. It could be, let's see where the, where's the middle balance on here. The middle of it is like right, right about there on the rod. I don't know who's holding the rod right here usually. Oh, I don't usually hold it around there. I usually hold it over here, but I'm gonna switch hands. I guess if you're holding it up here, this is this is about the middle of the rod. That's where I would say it's balanced to where it's not gonna fall. It's also got a guy or a hook hook holder right there at the end of the rod. I mean, the rod's pretty nice looking. Oh, look at that. Made in China right there, though. Gotta love those stickers. There it is again. Sporte Field. Here's the whole rod on the ground. Right there. The uh, locker on this is pretty good. I mean, it's pretty smooth as well. Let me see if I can hold this. Like it spins pretty smoothly. It doesn't bind or anything. And it's reverse gears work as well. The lock switch to stop it's pretty pretty sturdy to stop it from going backwards so it doesn't spin out. The drag on it sounds pretty good too. Let's see if I can get that makes sense. Now I gotta do it. here's the reel. You can see that sports a field, a field, rail, reel and rod right here. They show it all but just in the drag's pretty easy too. There's the bar. Rod doesn't or the reel doesn't seem the highest of quality, but it doesn't seem like the worst. I think for about 60 bucks from Costco, it might be, it might be worth it. They gotta take it, test it out on the water, but there it is.